Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Caitlin and I'm an American learning to live down under here in beautiful Sydney, Australia. I've learned so many interesting facts about Australia since I moved here. I've learned a lot in the comments section of these videos down below from a lot of my Amer Australian family over here. And some of these I've just kind of picked up along the way and some I've actually researched online. But, but today I want to share 25 really interesting things about Australia that I've learned. So if you want to see what they are, stay tuned. So for my avid golfers, Australia has the world's longest golf course. It is over 850 miles long, which is over 1300 kilometers long. So if you love to golf and you live in Australia, maybe go check it out. And if you don't live in Australia, come and see it. Uh, this one sounds like such an Aussie thing, it's such a joke, but an Australian man once tried to sell New Zealand on eBay. And I don't think he got a lot for it. Australia has an abundance of wildlife and there are actually three times more sheep than there are people over here in Australia. The largest Greek population outside of Greece can actually be found in Melbourne, Victoria. The Australian Alps actually get more snow than Switzerland. Australia actually has a huge skiing and snowboarding season. Australia is actually the second country in the world to give women the right to vote in 1902. So a lot of people outside of Australia seem to think that either Sydney or Melbourne are the capital cities, but it's actually Canberra. It's right between the two because the two of them couldn't stop fighting over who should be the capital city, but they are the capital city in their respective states. For my wine lovers, Australia is a huge wine producing country with over 60 wine regions that produce over 1.35 trillion bottles of wine every year. I feel like you can't make a list of interesting things about Australia without putting this on here, and that is the Great Emu War of 1932. The Great Emu War of 1932. This took place over in Western Australia back in 1932. It was meant to be a huge culling event over a huge population of emu over there that were causing problems for the farmers. The defense force actually went out to try to cull and get rid of a lot of these emu, and the emu won. Hence the Great Emu War of 1932. So when most people think of dangerous animals in Australia, they tend to think of spiders and snakes and crocodiles and sharks, but really the box jellyfish is actually responsible for more deaths than snakes, sharks, and saltwater crocodiles all combined. And these dangerous creatures can be found along the Great Barrier Reef and other places in Australia. So Australia is home to the only two mammals that lay eggs to give birth, and they are the platypus and the echidna. So when a lot of people overseas think of Australia, they think of kangaroo. And there is a huge kangaroo population with over 40 million kangaroo here in Australia. But what a lot of people outside of Australia don't really know is that kangaroo are kind of considered pests in a lot of places in the country and are sort of similar to the way deer are considered over in the States. So even though Australia is a massive island, there are no active volcanoes on Australia. So if you've seen this before, you know it's the Australian coat of arms and the kangaroo and the emu were picked because neither of them can actually move backwards. Both of these native animals were picked to reflect the forward-thinking nation of Australia. So the Australian thorny devil is one of the longest-lived lizards of its size in the world and can live for up to 20 years. So a lot of people are afraid of the venomous spiders that are over here in Australia. And Australia is home to over 1,500 species of spiders, though the vast, vast majority of them are completely harmless to humans. Between the years 2000 and 2013, more people in Australia were killed by horses than any other deadly animal in Australia combined. Uh, this one blows some people's mind when they hear this, and that there are 10 times more camels in Australia than there are koalas in Australia. In fact, Australia even exports a large number of camels every year to the Middle East. So if you're liking this video so far, hit the like and subscribe button down below to join our little Amer Australian family over here. I post on Mondays and normally Thursdays about the differences between American and Australian culture and the overall process of learning to live down under. So about 90% of Australia's population lives along the coastline. So Tasmania has some of the cleanest air and water in the world. And the wonder of the world, the Great Barrier Reef, is actually the world's largest ecosystem. It's so large, the Great Barrier Reef even has its own P.O. box. 
Now on the other side of the country, the Great Ocean Road is actually the largest war memorial in the world. And this last one, Australia is a lot bigger than most people think it is. Australia is actually about the same landmass size as mainland US. So not including Alaska and Hawaii. So that's it for this video, you guys. I hope you liked it. If you found something on here that you didn't know before, let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed it, hit the like and subscribe button to join our little Amer Australian family. I post on Mondays and normally Thursdays about the differences between American and Australian culture and the overall process of learning to live down under. My name's Caitlin, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!